No business suite of AI agents is complete without a chatbot. So I'm very excited to introduce the newest AI agent. And you see this little chat bubble down here? So I'm going to click on it. It's gonna pop up a chat with my AI agent. And this AI agent has a knowledge base of my company's data. So visitors on this website can interact with it. Asking, hey, can you help me out? It will give an accurate response that helps solve customer inquiries. The idea comes from Intercom, where they released an AI agent called Finn. But what's awesome is that you'll get this chatbot and more on the basic Your AI Agent plan, where in Intercom, it's more expensive and you'll only get the one thing. Let me tell you more about it and show you how to set it up. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to YourAIAgent.com. Enter your full name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page and you don't need to connect anything for this chatbot agent. So your first step is going to be under subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, this button will say subscribe. Mine is active, so it says go to portal. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page where you can subscribe to the basic plan. It's all self-serve through Stripe. After that, you can go to the homepage where you can choose your next AI agent. So we have a total of 14 agents as of right now with more being added each week. But for this video, we're gonna focus on the chatbot agent. So click on this. It will bring you to the chatbot page. And now let's go through setting up this workflow. First off, let's read the instructions and information. The chatbot agent uses your company's data to answer inquiries via a customizable HTML and JavaScript chat bubble that's placed on your website, so similar to Intercom. The chatbot details section provides a brief overview of the chatbot's purpose, so customer support, informational, could be fun and games, within a character limit, so keep it short. We'll talk about that in a second. For more in-depth setup, use an optional .txt knowledge base, which you can upload and update anytime. Once your chatbot agent is set up, you'll receive HTML code to embed it directly on your website. Ensure iframes are enabled on your site. All right, first, let's describe our chatbot avatar. So this name will appear at the top of the chat widget, and this image icon will display next to the agent's messages. So I'm gonna call this Ava at your AI agent. You can call this whatever you want. Next is the opening message. So this is the first message your visitors will see when they open the chat widget. And I give you an example right here. You can change it to whatever you want. My default placeholder is, hi there, welcome to your AI agent. You are now speaking with Ava, an AI agent. I can do much more than chatbots you've seen before. Tell me as much as you can about your question and I'll do my best to help you in an instant. Next, we have the branding. So this is customizing the chat widget's colors and style to match your website branding. We have the chat bubble color, that is right here. The main color is at the top here, that's this bar. The agent message is the background of the text sent by your agent. So by default, it's this light gray. And then the user message is when a user types a message, let's just write hey there and send it in. It's the background to this text. Next, we have the chatbot details. So in the back end, we're actually creating an AI assistant through the assistance API in which we attach your knowledge base. So I can go, you are a customer service AI agent that answers support inquiries based on an uploaded knowledge base. We have a max of 500 characters. If you need more, write all of those details in your knowledge base. This file, especially if it's a .txt file, can be very large. This is just setting the context of your chatbot. And through various testing, I found that including use your knowledge base to answer inquiries helps the AI assistant file search your knowledge base when there is a question that requires that type of data. Now I'm automatically enabling file search in the back end, but still sometimes you need to hold the AI agent's hand. This is completely optional, but I recommend putting it in 
especially if you're using the knowledge base. Okay, next is the knowledge base. So it must be a TXT file. I found that works best. So you can create your own TXT file and then upload it here. Don't worry, you can update it or change it at any time in the future. So I'm gonna click to upload a file. And here I have email responses.txt. It's a bunch of answers to support questions. And this is a lot of truth about the company. So I will use this as my knowledge base. Let's click open and there we go. Now I can click start agent and it's going to work in the back end. It pops up some website code so I can highlight everything here or just click the copy button and it's going to copy that HTML code. I'm going to click OK. And then on your website, in this example, I'm using WordPress. You can click into any of your pages, grab the HTML element and paste in your code. So I'm going to click save. And now when I view the page, we have our chat bubble in the bottom right corner and I have a nice hover effect on it. We can click on it. It opens the chat widget, which hooks up to your AI agent to answer all of your customers inquiries. Now on your workflows page, you can see your active running chatbots. You can click to edit it at any point where we get a pop up. If you ever lose the website code, you can copy it again. You can change the avatar, the agent name, your opening message, change the color of your branding, update the agent with new chatbot details or upload a brand new knowledge base. Now for this specific chatbot agent, because we're running API calls to the AI assistant, you're going to need to click save changes after you have made some changes. Other ones, it does it automatically. But for this one, we're updating the agent via an API call. So this button to activate the workflow is necessary. Now, I hope you find some cool use cases for this new AI agent. In this video, we showed a customer support agent, but you can technically use this for anything. It is a chat bot where you can upload information to it and it can respond to your website's visitors. This is my first time working with JavaScript code, so I tried my best to make it mobile responsive. It appears to work for all types of screen sizes, but it's currently now in beta, so if you run into any issues, be sure to send me a message and I'll fix it right away. If you want to try the chatbot agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to build your own AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, you should check out my course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.